and if you enjoy it and you get to do what you want to do, you've already won regardless of the Olympics. I'm winning, I'm winning because I'm getting to do what I want to do every day. I come in this place and I just love it. You are the sunshine in my life. Very much requested, guys. I have made a SoundCloud playlist with my favourite tunes on. I'll leave a link. Playlist is called Wobblers. I tell you what, there is some absolute wobblers. The song is Tom Zanetti, Darling. TZ is from Leeds. Absolute bad man. Hey, up team, how you doing? You alright? Tell you what, foot's getting there. Pain is so much better this week. I'm gonna go to the gym today, actually which is gonna be nice, you know, just to get out of the house. Right, I'm not allowed to sweat. I'm not allowed to work hard to sweat, just in case my wound gets infected, you know, I'm sweating there. Okay. I don't feel like I've put on a lot of weight, I just feel much of I feel like, I feel like I've lost weight more than anything. I just feel smaller. Good to be back in the gym, team. It's very good to be back in the gym. I'm still at the stage where I shouldn't really be doing too much, so I've just come out for a, for a stretch to see the boys. Uh, see the coaches. I do a few handstands and uh, as again, I, I can't really be sweating, so putting myself through too much um, in case of that 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 wound if it gets infected. So I've got to hold it out for another four or five days. I want to say I'm getting a lot of comments about people who used to be gymnasts have stopped and they're restarting gymnastics. And uh, and if that is because you started watching my videos and I've inspired you, that's just unbelievable. <laughs> like this is exactly what. You know, I do this for like this is, oh, it's just an amazing feeling to know that I've inspired someone to start doing this sport. But I'd say, just start. You know, if you you know, there's so much nowadays about. I I'm very very transparent on social media because of my actions to match my words. You know, how many are you saying I want to start? I'm going to start gymnastics. I'm going to start gymnastics again. And six months has passed by. You've done absolutely nothing. It's the same with this YouTube thing. You know, like. As I said for years and years, I want to start. I'm going to start being more active on YouTube. I'm going to do this. I'm just thought, you know what? Just doing. Instead of trying to make things perfect and getting exactly the right way, instead of doing that, I think taking action and just doing instead of creating and perfecting is just so much more like important and grafting, knuckling down with everything in life. And you know, I, I said for two years, I'm going to start an online business. I'm going to start this. I'm thinking about doing that. What about this? What about that? And it was not until like December last year where I actually thought, Niall stop talking about this and just do so yeah so sorry for my little rant there but yeah just just go to the gym go to your local gym class ask you to do adult classes or start recreational or you know you, the, the, the stuff you can do at home is absolutely unbelievable that's exactly why i built the body shaper program and then i'm having so many nice nice emails saying how much it's progressed to people's gymnastics and they're having fun and they feel fitter stronger so yeah, I can help you with that. I want to help you with that. Go to my website in the description. But yeah, guys, just start today, now. Dad. Hey, I'm Niall. You alright, son? This not so good. I'm proper having a real road rage moment here. I'm like raging. I've never I've never seen a road anything like it. I'm a proper rage. There's cars everywhere, man. Where do we go? Being our age, it's been fire haircuts. Look at that. Fresh, lined, skin fade. Looking puckers. Well, look at mine as well. Dad. I had a skin not so faded, just normal fade. Easy fade. What do you call it? Like Fadeless. Never no, zero. I've got a question for you. What? What's that intro song to your videos that you... <laughs> Is I've, already to first? I've already told everyone at the start. <laughs> oh, good. Good lad. So, Saturday night is Leeds Gymnastics Club Awards Dinner, which has been going for, I think, nearly 10 years now. This year, Leeds, we've got over a thousand... Is it over a thousand? I'll right. tell you what, there's a thousand of a thousand cars. There's more cars everywhere. Why don't you go into the city, left again, and then... Onto it, ring road. Well, right? the ring road's absolutely melted. It's but like complete where? meltdown. We're not going to get home till Friday. <laughs> I think the first ever event was there was like 150. Now it's scaled to a thousand. But what, I, what I'm saying, what I wanted to tell them, I'm going in a wheelchair. Yes. So I can dance 
Well, I can't dance. Well, I can't dance in the work, but I can wheel my chair onto the dance floor and get involved, so I don't have to just sit there all night. No, this. You know what that is? Uh, double doorbell. Double doorbell. Double doorbell. <laughs> double doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> In the light bulb plant the potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> you taught me everything you knew about that. Oh, dancing. I've got some moves, son. I'm going to be Brian Potter for the weekend. Brian Potter? What's he saying now? Brian Potter? Uh, I don't know. Are my eyes playing tricks on me, Jerry? Have you got two of my builders singing Acapulco? <laughs> Can you hear me now, Patrick? <laughs> <laughs> Sarah Jane, when did I start gymnastics? I was four years old. I started at my local club. The reason being, I was very clumsy. I have scars on my head, split my head open three or four times. Parents took me along to teach me how to fall. Pizza or cake? Both. <laughs> white chocolate or milk chocolate? I'm actually a white chocolate fan. What's my favourite event in gymnastics? I'd say it's split between the two of P-bars and high bar. They're my strongest events, but they're the ones that I most enjoy training, I most enjoy competing. What are you going to do when you retire from gymnastics? You know, it's a funny question. I always, when someone asks me this, oh, when, when do you see yourself in five years or whatever, I, just, I always say James Bond. I'm going to be James Bond. On a serious note, I think I love the sport. I would, I want to stay in the sport as long as I possibly can, so I don't plan on retiring from actually competing, being high-level competitive gymnastics very soon. But I think afterwards, and I'm, I'm already currently going on sort of a business venture in the sport, and um, I don't feel like I could just go work for someone else and get an office job. I think I want to set up my own businesses, um, you know, and do something very active. And, and I think I. I'll keep doing gymnastics till, till my body physically won't let me. Right now, I don't want to be a one-to-one -one gymnastics coach with a group and take them on to, to Olympic level. I think I would rather try and reach thousands and the masses and, and be able to change people's lives and really give value to, to young gymnasts because I feel like I've been through this incredible journey which I can you know then give value to you and help you learn from my mistakes. And um, But the answer is I'm not too sure 100%, but either that or James Bond. <laughs>